Hi, this is Look and Learn on AD4 TV Radio. I am the Grammar Queen. How have you been? Today we are continuing with commonly confused words from the last episode. But first, the word for today is cloy, C-L-O-Y. This means excessive sweetness or too much of something, usually smell or taste. It also means to disgust or saturate by excessiveness of something. The cloy taste of the small chops put me off. Too much spice and taste enhancers. Now to today's business, commonly confused words. If you walk into any meeting with a bulge in your trouser back pocket, he will walk you out. No amount of pleading will make him budge. There is bulge, B-U-L-G-E, and there is budge, B-U-D-G-E. B-U-L-G-E bulge is a swelling or a protrusion from a surface. B-U-D-G-E bulge primarily means to move. It also means to change point of view or opinion or decision taking. So when you say he refused to budge despite the pleading, it means he maintained his stand or point of view. The word breakdown can be written in two different ways and they actually mean different things when written differently. Breakdown as one word, B-R-E-A-K-D-O-W-N, means the failure, the spoiling, the malfunction or the collapse of a thing, a machine, a relationship, a device, anything. It is different from breakdown with a space between break and down. So break space down, that is B-R-E-A-K space D-O-W-N means to dismantle or separate something into tiny parts. It also means to explain something to someone in minute nitty gritty details. When you're cooking and you have your cooking spoon in the broth, turning it this way and that way, that is to stare, S-T-I-R. There is stare, S-T-A-R-E, meaning to fix your gaze or to look at something for a long time. Now, there is stare, S-T-A-I-R, which is a set of steps leading from one floor to another in a building. Finally, there is steer, S-T-E-E-R, which is to navigate, to direct or to move something in a particular desired direction. Now, this is quite a lot, so let's make a sentence. Hmm. Yesterday, we discovered that Madame's communication style is to stare, S-T-A-R-E. While you're enjoying my presentation, ensure you stare the stew carefully, S-T-I-R, so it doesn't boil over. As you stare the stew, S-T-I-R, I will climb up the stair, S-T-A-I-R, to steer the boat. S-T-E-E-R, to face the sun. Would you say I have the gift of gab? Gab here is G-A-B, and it means lengthy talk or chattering, or to talk or chatter at length. Another word that sounds like gab and is usually confused with it is G-A-R-B, which means dressing, or a sense of dressing. So in a sentence, that comedian will go places. He has an excellent gift of gab, G-A-B. I also like his dressing. For every event, he chooses his garb very well, G-A-R-B. Are you confused about how to use sometimes, sometime, and sometime? Let me help you here. Sometimes, one word, spelled S-O-M-E-T-I-M-E-S, means occasionally, not often, right? Right. Now, sometimes, spelled S-O-M-E space, T-I-M-E is a period of time, while sometime, one word, S-O-M-E-T-I-M-E, -E, refers to an unspecified time. Listen to this sentence. You have to speak to them sometime in the future. S-O-M-E-T-I-M-E, -E, one word. We know that sometimes they act childish. S-O-M-E-T-I-M-E-S, -E one word. Still, you will speak to them and give them some time, S-O-M-E space T-I-M-E, -E, to think about it. That's all for now. Till next time, always remember to speak right and write right. Bye.